NBA College Draft. During the 1984 NBA Draft, the Blazers passed up on Michael Jordan to take center Sam Bowie second overall. Selects Sam Bowie, University of Kentucky. The Chicago Bulls pick Michael Jordan the University of North Carolina. We started practicing our first day in preseason, and I got a call after practice from an assistant coach and said, you didn't mess this draft up. And now the noise factor begins to really increase. Here is the man. They call him Mr. Jordan in Chicago. The standing ovation. The first time he stepped on a professional floor, all you had to do was look to see. There was an artist at work. feels that he can do whatever he wants and you're in, in some sort of a different zone when you're out there. I'm not sure people really know how good this guy is. And they usually concentrate on the fact that oh, what a beautiful dunker he is. If he didn't dunk a basketball, he would be as great as anyone that ever played this game. surprised at how, how fast I'm picking up the game. Brown will put it in. Here's Williams. Let's see if they go for three or two here. Thomas, a three-point attempt. That's it! An assassin personified that had that killer instinct. A killer instinct that he came into the league with. He has the, the ability to take control of a game, to make the big shot. Jordan kicks it to Watley. Down to 12 seconds. You see the clock now. has been inserted in your screen. Jordan... Jordan driving, he'll go for it! The magic of this guy, Michael Jordan, the rookie, I'm out of adjectives already. I'm going to tell my kids about this, uh, the sheer will to win, the unflappable, unshakable confidence. Yeah, he got it! He got it! He got it! Here comes Indiana, Vern Fleming, two seconds, one second, he didn't get it off in time! The Bulls have won the ball game! The Bulls have won the ball game! Michael Jordan! You talk about pressure. Since he arrived, the stadium, which used to be two-thirds empty, has been sold out every game. You can just substitute the uh, Knicks right there. It could be Jordan Laws, Lakers, Jordan Laws, Celtics, and everything else. Everywhere you go, you're, you're getting this kind of thing. Last night, your first appearance at the Garden. Michael Jordan puts on his show. And he has shot to start him already, although still in his first month as a professional. Nobody like him. Point blank. I never seen nobody play like he plays. Moncrief tried to get it away, but broken up by Daly and gets it away to Jordan. Oh, no time for Mr. Jordan. He was the first to wear the number 23. And a young Madonna in the crowd. You know, he had the it factor. There was a, a James Dean, a Lone Ranger quality to Michael Jordan. Can he fly or what? You know, one of these nice, fancy dunks. I, most players really don't have to worry about doing it. up on the board. You're trying to go one-on-one. -on -one. He lost the ball. There's still oh. away. Laid out for Jordan. Michael Jeffrey Jordan is the greatest basketball player that I've seen. Come on! And that's what they came to see, didn't they? He made me want to be an NBA basketball player. Phil Pyatt. There's Jordan. Right. 
rookie from North Carolina. The rookie is playing like an all-pro. We all know that Michael Jordan was the greatest basketball player ever. Nobody that I've seen had the type of mental toughness that Michael Jordan had. Jumper under heavy pressure. 35 seconds left. And on the court, it was perfection. The way he wore his uniform, the socks low, the sneakers, sent people into a frenzy. It was the He was the first to do so many things. And Nike's coming out with a clothing line called Air Jordan. Oh yes, his own shoe, they call it Air Jordan. This is hot as a Cabbage Patch doll right now. The endorsements are fast and furious. Jordan's getting rich. His Chicago salary is reportedly more than half a million dollars a year. Coke with... and McDonald's for $800,000. North Carolina to the height of superstar. He doesn't wear one white glove. He wears strange-looking sneakers, and he soars through the air. <laughs> says Jordan is a key reason overall league attendance is up more than 7%. What more could Michael Jordan ask for? In less than a year, he's been named Collegiate Player of the Year. He's won an Olympic gold medal. Turn into Captain Marvel again. Well, he's got him standing in the aisles already. Set the NBA on fire, and he's been picked to start in Sunday's All-Star Game. He participated in the jump, sh in, in the dunk, dunk contest. Yeah, three he, times. He was the first. All right, here's Michael Jordan of the Chicago Bulls. One of the hot candidates for Rookie of the Year honors as he slams it on. He wants to indicate where he's going to take off on this dunk. Last effort of his semi-final round. Here's Michael Jordan of the Chicago Bulls. You can fly, can't you? Well, look, I said to so many people that we're fortunate in our lifetime to have seen a Michael Jordan. Here's Jordan down the middle, all the way! Rather than be born 30 years from now and only hear about the legacy. Look at this crowd! Look at this crowd up on their feet! He went right down the middle on Artis Gilmore, slammed it over the top of the bench. Timeout taken by the fans. People think that Jordan gets mythologized out of proportion. In fact, if anything, he becomes underrated over time. Jordan driving! Michael Jordan is just this ultra bad mother basket Michael Jordan with 43 and the Bulls have a five point lead that is and it this the year it's not lonely at all Chicago has virtually doubled its attendance there's a whole generation of kids now is going to swear by LeBron James because if you're watching LeBron James it's hard to imagine that anyone was ever better than that but kids I'm here to tell you there was someone better than that Jordan just rocked the cradle for his 10th point and the Bucks are going to call time here's a kaboom <laughs> Highlighting NBA news, the Chicago Bulls in an unfamiliar spot. They're still on top. Three games into the season, they won again tonight. What's interesting about last night was the fact that star Michael Jordan was injured early in the game. Out of a total of 64 games, Michael defied the recommendations of his team doctors and management, came back and led his team to the playoffs. Air Jordan is no longer time Jordan. The Chicago Bulls are in the playoffs, and there are no restrictions on Michael's playing time. The only question that remains is... Is Michael Jordan really back? When you think about Michael, you know, scoring 60 in Boston Garden in the playoff game. To me, he was the first athlete who had great fundamentals. Most super athletes depend on the fact that they could just jump over you and run by you. But he took it technically. This is game two of our best of five. First round, Chicago had a 12-point lead in the first half of the game against the Celtics. Jumper, but Bird played pretty well defensively against Jordan there. Michael Jordan has eight points and is the game high score. Going baseline. Michael Jordan, 21 points. I mean, against the Celtics, and that at, at that time, who had one of the best teams ever. One second on the clock. So now we'll see how Chicago responds to that knockdown punch. Jordan trying to use his quickness, and it works. Michael 
Michael Jordan with 44 now in the ballgame. Jordan. Cuts the Celtic lead to two. Larry Bird said God in, in, a, in, a bat, in, in shorts waxed us when Michael Jordan dropped 63. And a foul, Blake Slee. A foul against Kevin McHale has been called by Middleton. With no time showing on the clock. He can tie it up here and send the game in overtime. No time remaining. This is pressure. calling him God. It moved Larry Bird to say, that's not Michael Jordan. That's God disguised as Michael Jordan. Jordan with an all-time record 63 points in a single playoff game. Jordan was always good enough. Yeah! He scored 63 points in a he playoff did. game. Yes, he did. And he, he and Tony had, Collins. I think he played with us for. I love it. You know, uh, you know, everyone's picking us to do somewhat bad. And, uh, you know, it takes all pressure off this team. Watch Gino get ready to hit it all the way down the court. And Michael going, maybe? Yep, oh. there it is. Michael Jordan on the breakaway. Thirty-seven for Jordan. It's a. And when they started trying to crown him early on, he didn't believe in that. He felt I didn't belong, and I felt like I had to prove myself. Just like when I was at North Carolina, I had to prove Jordan. myself. With the drive. League's leading scorer, Michael Jordan, averaging 37 points a game. Boom, perfect timing. This guy's the best defensive player in the league. He's the best offensive player, and he's the best competitor. By Jordan, the ball loose. Theus gets it. Theus on the dribble, off to the right, takes it in, and Jordan steals the ball. Nine times first team all defensive NBA. Here's Michael Jordan on the drive. In on Joe Klein, all the take this for granted now but just the dunking and just him being in the slam dunk contest wearing his shoes everybody wanted those shoes everybody wanted to see the dunk that's like all you cared about Dominique versus Michael in the dunk contest was like Hagler Hearns Muhammad Ali Joe Frazier from high above the rim well, now Jordan does have his first taste of pressure in the slam dunk competition Michael said well I got one bet I'm gonna kick my legs out it's a heavyweight fight. This is what everybody was building up for. <laughs> I'm predicting a 50 on that. Be hard not to give 50 on that one, Steve. That was impressive. They both got 50s on their first dunks. Could we call it a make good? I mean, that's a two-hand windmill with authority. Now for Michael Jordan. Here's the story. Wilkins finishes with 145. Michael Jordan needs a 48 to tie, a 49 to win. And Michael is backing all the way to the middle of the back. Michael, he understands the moment. He walked down. He took his time. 48 ties, a 49.
moment or history. I look at what we call the shot. We have had three-point drama here in the final minutes of the game. And a regular timeout. Pippen brings it across, defended by Harper. 11 seconds to go. In the middle of the floor, Jordan has it. Jordan puts up a jumper and hits. With six seconds to go, this tells it all. Cleveland has the ball. The greatest clutch performer in playoffs history has to be Michael Jordan. Gets the ball back, drives to the hoop, lays it in with three seconds to go. The, the, what I've always said about Michael is he never feared the consequences of, of missing. Here's our story here at Richfield Coliseum. One of these teams will advance to the Eastern Conference semifinals against the New York Knicks. And I'll, I'll tell you an interesting story about, about the greatness of Michael Jordan. Doug Collins began to say he wanted to pass the ball to Dave Corzine, and that's when Jordan slammed his fist on the clipboard and said, give me the effing ball. As the Bulls break the huddle, Jordan whispers to his teammate Craig Hodges, I'm going to make it. The Bulls have three seconds to try a shot. Zellers has Jordan. Jordan. As Jordan kept pumping his fists, Cavs coach Lenny Wilkins could hear Jordan yell, go home, go home, to Cavs fans nearby. We're going to New York, baby. All right, and the song was called by Anita Bailey. That was, uh, get the ball, Michael, everybody get the out of the way. <laughs> go to the basket. <laughs> just how famous he was. And Bird was famous, Magic was famous. Michael had a different level of just, when he walked in, it was like a hurricane. Just every eye in the building was always on him. Some time. could describe Muhammad Ali, you know. It was, it was like Ali. Michael Jordan is a phenomenon. All these kids standing, taking pictures, and like reaching out to touch him. It's like, uh, I compare it to biblically about people reaching out trying to touch, touch Christ's garments. This one's Fortune magazine did some number crunching to calculate how much money Jordan has generated in his career. Show me the money aspect of Michael Jordan in corporate. Show me the money. His cologne has reportedly raked in $155 million. Michael Jordan was the one who made fans watch, and Michael Jordan was the one who made fans buy. No one moves more jerseys than number 23. He's also the world's highest paid athlete. He makes more than $30 million a year just doing TV commercials like these. Hello. Pressy looks to bring it in. He comes in and cuts. He was born with killer instinct because you can't learn it. You, you can't create it, you can't teach it, you can't coach it. You're either built that way or you're not. Fly is really magical on television and it brought people who were not basketball fans in just at the sheer majesty and grace of his movement. <laughs> oh yes, yes, yes. We had dethroned the Celtics, we had dethroned the Lakers and we thought that we deserved a little bit of respect as a champion. Who on God's name would stop Michael Jordan? First of all, the game was far more physical when Michael Jordan played. Dantley knocks him down, and Michael's up ready to go with Dantley. What the heck is going on? You saw him in the gym. He came back a little stronger. Shoulders were looking bigger. In their time? Right. There's no hand checking now. You touch him now, it's a foul. You really had to rip somebody's head off and throw it in the stand before you get a play for foul. They just don't want to see that in our basketball game. He never complained. Rick Mahorn and those guys, Kevin McHale and those guys, beat him to a pulp. And he still averaged 30. 360, tongue moving. The Pistons with the indication that it is all The decision over. was made just to walk off. If you had a two-over game, would you shake hands with the Bulls? Absolutely. The Detroit Pistons heading back to the locker room. Their season has concluded while the Chicago Bulls advance to the NBA championship round. Compliments him, but not a perfect team. He carries this team. 
Rarely do players carry teams to wins, much less championships. You're not going to avoid the magic Michael thing. And we got out on him about 12 to 2. And I said, I'm going I'm to really rattle his chain. So I went over there, tapped him on the shoulder, and said, hey, man, if you don't turn into Air Jordan, we're going to blow you out today. Jimmy, his eyes got big. Come about right here now, way out. And he's looking at me. <laughs> Stripped by Jordan. There's Jordan. Over Scott. Jordan scored the uh, 46. That was the uh, the one loss in the series. Jordan again. He has 20. Michael has a, a streak in him competitively that I've never seen in anyone before. I think Michael Jordan had a perfect body. It's long, it's lean, he can run, I he agree with jump. Y'all. Everything was perfect. The look away to Levingston. Jordan. Michael Jordan in 1991 came down on us with the right hand, tongue out. He switched in mid-air to the left. Just stunned, and all of us were stunned to see him hang in the air that night. And the Chicago Bulls have won their first ever NBA championship. Incredible. Well, There'll never should, be. The moral is you should not talk trash to Michael Jordan. Yeah. Portland and Chicago. It was almost inevitable. For the Bulls, there are great expectations of a different kind. This team has its championship. Now, it seeks its place in history. I like this a series that features two of the NBA's premier players, and Michael Jordan and Clyde Drexler. Two superstars, the Jordan-Drexler matchup. Michael never played with a player that would get double teamed. So you had to carry that offensive load for not just a season, an entire career, and then on the other end be first team all defensive play. There's no one going to ever be like that. These super teams, nobody will ever have that burden put on them. Something was given to us by the notoriety, by the media, by the fans, that superstardom. And we have to protect it because everybody's coming in trying to get it. Superstars love this situation. It's built up to be Jordan versus Drexler. Michael Jordan said, okay, come on, you're in my building. about the comparisons with Clyde Drexler, someone said, how about three-point shooting? Jordan made the point, well, I have not chosen to shoot three-point shots. As if to say, what if I wanted to go that route? Well, he has chosen to look for the three here in the first quarter. It's been unusual to see Michael bombing away. That's his third three-point attempt. Jordan made only 27 the entire regular season. Aura of being Michael Jordan. Jordan. Yes! That is an NBA Finals record. Five three pointers in a half. Wexler for three. competitor, the scariest competitor I've ever watched in any sport. You see that one? Michael indicating he can't believe it. The Chicago Bulls have won the NBA championship for the second straight season.
considering the relative youth of their nucleus, they could be in position to extend towards a dynasty. He is not of this world. And there was an otherworldly aspect to Michael Jordan that, yeah. that he did things that nobody else could do. For more than half a century, the U.S. was so dominant in basketball that its collegiate players were all that was needed to win the gold. And here's the frosting for the USSR. They win it. 82-76. Those other countries were using pros. Playing against 18, 19-year-old kids. That is really unfair. After loss after loss for U.S. basketball at these tournaments. And what was once a golden tradition has paled into something less Just brilliant. moments ago, the Dream Team boarded the bus outside their hotel along the Romulus. I kept thinking that the attention would dissipate. They're going to play the first game. They're going to win by 60. There's nothing like that ever. And even in that, with all these guys being tremendous competitors, I have to say, Michael was probably the most competitive in that whole group. A 6'6 guard, Michael Jordan. The guy on the bench is taking pitch. What may well be the best basketball team ever assembled. Curtinitis, but Mullin reads him so well, and watch out. So suddenly the lead stretches to 15. Oh! Prior to the U.S. beating these teams by 60 points, they pose at midcourt. It's a watershed moment in the history of sports. Not just, not just the Olympics, not just basketball. before and never again will there be such a team yes look at look at these numbers uh 31 straight points at one stretch 46 to one run by the united states and gave birth to international stars who had nothing to do with those games in 92 but who took so much from it Scotty. Oh. Throws it back to Michael. Cut off one hand. From Jim oh. Kidd off the board. He's just being told by, uh, by Bruce Alexander, you have a delay a game. Now, if you step over, I'm going to have to call it. Rodman will defend on the inbounds. Pippen will toss in. B.J. Armstrong is on the floor for the Jordan. ball. The inbounds a card right to Jordan. Player who ever lived really indisputable to most of Knicks us. Knicks beat the Chicago Bulls last night to even up their playoff series one game apiece, and somehow the Knicks managed to contain Michael Jordan to just 15 points. And Jordan upset because he was hurt. He got scratched by Starks. And he was very upset about it. And they continue on. Jordan won the goal item. And they try to calm Starks. We just fell apart. Do you think you're going home? For this last Do we have a choice? Can you recover? Yeah, we don't have a choice. When you mention the teams Jordan went through, those Knicks especially, I mean, Mason, Oakley, Ewing, Jordan's going to the hole against them. Oh, what a move by Jordan! It counts! And the foul! There, there's some football being played. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. In the 90s, in the control, you get chucked with a foul. All that, arm, all that running through the paint. Oh! And a foul! Oh, did he show the rookie something, Jimmy? what he did on the offensive end on the defensive end. And then you couple that with all of that athleticism, then his confidence skyrocket by Rivers, and now Jordan with some words for Rivers. He talks a lot of trash, and he, and he had all, everything came together. Shot out first and I with a bad throw. Here's Jordan. Jordan with the steal. And the 
it's stolen by Starks. McDaniel chased by Jordan. It's a clean block. Whose game is it? It's Michael Jordan's game. And it is Chicago going on to the NBA Finals. homicidally competitive like really like almost you could say he had a problem he was so competitive his entire life just revolved around beating other people that's how he measured himself that's how he measured everyone he played with why did they call him the black cat because he was smooth trademark gym shoes still top sellers to this day ball head tongue wag Personally, I've gone through a lot of ups and downs, but it, it, to cap it off this way means a lot to me. I hate to make you look ahead, but you've talked about retirement in a year or two. Could you step aside if the streak is still intact? <laughs> no. Yo, my love is strong for this game right now. That's how I'm looking at it, and I'm going to be here as long as my love is strong. Last night, we began the show with the disappearance of Michael Jordan's father. Right? The worst fears have come true. James Jordan was found dead, victim of apparent murder. What is still unclear and will be for some time is what effect this tragedy will have on Michael Jordan and his future with the Chicago Bulls. In a matter of moments, Michael Jordan is expected to officially announce his retirement. It's a, uh, a very bittersweet day. There's a certain sadness because the greatest athlete to ever play a team sport is leaving the game. I can only imagine what it was like seeing Babe Ruth because I think this man, I used to say, was the Babe Ruth of basketball. I've now come to believe that Babe Ruth was the Michael Jordan of baseball. When Michael Jordan first retired from the Chicago Bulls in October of 1993, following his father's murder, the sports world was shocked. Four months later, Jordan dropped another bombshell. He decided to pursue a career in baseball. And then he goes to play baseball. Everyone's like, wait, wait he's going to play baseball? So many Hall of Famers are like, this is my chance to get a chip. Jordan, if he had to retire, wouldn't he have gone to eight straight NBA Finals? One could argue that. Yeah, yeah, of yeah, of course, we all believe that. 35 seconds away from the Knicks dethroning the Chicago Bulls. To the 1994 NBA World no! Champion. The NBA tried to plan for his retirement, tried to promote other players, like the Lakers' Shaquille O'Neal. But the shoe company Reebok recently canceled Shaq's shoe contract. What is the NBA without Michael Jordan? I think the NBA without Michael Jordan is in deep trouble. Just being given an opportunity is something that I can feel very privileged about. I mean, uh, the White Sox gave me an opportunity just to go out there and see what type of skills I have. And uh... would, you like, would you like to see him come back? Yes, I would. I, I think that he would be a good addition to this. <laughs> Michael Jordan announced today he's coming back to basketball. Jordan returns to the NBA on NBC at noon Eastern. Yes, that was 636 days ago, so 21 months after his last appearance in an NBA game, only five months after his number 23 was raised to the rafters in Chicago, Michael Jordan has returned and he's wearing number 45. A lot of special moments in NBA basketball, usually the opening game of the season, the playoffs, seventh game of the series, the finals. I don't know about you, but I got the goosebumps for this one. This is very special. The moment is nearly at hand. Michael Jordan's return to the NBA. And there is Michael Jordan. Whereas Jordan is the undisputed GOAT. Like there's, I mean, really no debate. Make a wish. Count to three. You know, he's the greatest that's ever played. Greatest who ever played? Yeah. You, you, you go right there. No, no question about it. Jordan for the win! Jordan. The 
just a super superstar. He, like you said, Bill, he was a celebrity. He wasn't a basketball player. He was a celebrity. And I'll tell you, as a kid growing up, you know, in high school, I can't even describe what that was like at the time. We, we, we put it on prime time, but Michael brought it to a whole nother level and took it internationally. It's the magical, mystical Jordan Road Tour. 1995. The Bulls are two and two since his return. And one of the most asked questions in America, most often asked, is how is Michael doing? How is his return? In <laughs> Starks told me moments ago the Knicks still plan to have him go one on one, no double teaming. He wasn't intimidated before and he's not now, and he says he's eager for the challenge. Moments away from tip off, there is John Starks. He's been a little bit of a slump lately offensively, but he does play Michael Jordan very well. Viewing early in the game, Pooh Coach on the run. Ezekiel 25 17. The path of the righteous man is beset. Look out! Starts out on fire. Michael is four of five. Well, he is truly his brother's keeper and the finder of lost. What else? It's 20 first quarter points for Michael Jordan. Look, I know what it must seem like to a younger generation. Guys, it's ridiculous. No matter what LeBron does, if he's not perfect, then he's not Jordan. Yeah, Jordan set a standard of near perfection. And I will strike down upon thee with great vengeance and furious anger. And did you ask, is he back? Those who attempt to poison and destroy my brother. 55 points. There were times where you could make a legitimate argument that collectively a team may have been better than the Chicago Bulls. But they didn't have MJ. And you will know my name is the Lord. When I lay my vengeance upon you. Michael finds the opportunity. Weddington with a jam. 3.1 remaining. To take the game 20 years into the future where he has no fucking peer. There was no arguments about who the best guy in the league was. The Chicago Bulls were an unstoppable force during the 1995-96 campaign. That 95-96 Bulls team is the greatest professional sports team I have ever seen in any league at any time. And Michael Jordan's first full season back after giving baseball a try. The Bulls won an NBA record 72 games in the regular season. When they terrorized the, the playoffs. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Flight 23. was a wrap for everyone in the league. Didn't matter who you were, you weren't getting anything when Jordan was around. Jordan just looked over at Spike Lee and waved bye-bye. This one ends appropriately enough in front of New York's most celebrated fan, Spike Lee. And through most of the country, really, is that these NBA Finals loom not so much as a competition as a coronation. You know, with 72 wins, you know, all the consecutive winnings, uh, the games that we have won, but by no means do we want to do all that and then be the team that lose to the Seattle Supersonics in the finals. And Marv, he has come all the way back to best player and MVP status. And then he played a 63-win Sonics team and beat them in six games. No one ever took them seven games in the finals. The Bulls were able to complete the dream season and win the franchise's fourth NBA title after defeating the Sonics in Game 6. Michael Jordan, yep, once again named Finals MVP, his fourth MVP trophy in his many tries. Watch this, I'm going to fly through the air. How about that? So he just puts it in one hand and takes it down the lane. Career high, 67 points, and you folks were here to see he was the first guy that would literally fly through the f***ing air, slamming in dunks. Where you would see it on the highlight reels on like ESPN, you would see it on the news, and people would just be standing there shaking their head. Maybe it was an innocent question from Michael Jordan. Is it Byron or Brian Russell? But it drew Russell's fire. Brian responding, is it Michael or Michelle? Ooh. 
Now, on the one hand, you got to give Brian props for not backing down, but on the other, yo, B, that's Mike. We're down to five. George, pretty moves on Russell. We're down to two. Now to one. I'm still a beast, though, baby. There is a big story going around this building right now. Michael Jordan is sick and missed the shoot around. He'd walk in the arena suited and booted when you didn't have to come in suited and booted. Three piece suits, tie, knotted up, showed you how to be a professional. He is suffering from flu like symptoms, made his way onto the court just moments ago, and as you see right here, looking a bit shaky. 18,100 fans in attendance. And the 600 million watching around the world. Ladies and gentlemen, let's get ready to rumble! Yes! A bad for a guy playing with the <laughs> flu symptoms. And the Jazz not able to get to their offensive glass. Ostertag was great. Carl Malone's got the 3,000. I mean, it, it was uh, the man could hardly walk, he could hardly breathe. And he elevated himself. Short to the cutting long way. If you give up, then they give up. You know, so I didn't want to give up. You know, no matter how sick I was, or how tired I was, or how, you know, low on energy I was. Yes. And he's tied the game. Like the, the things that he does over and over again is like Michelangelo repainting the Sistine Chapel over and over again. Near exhaustion, ready to fall over. He's got his team tied now. When they called a timeout, how he came out of the ball game and plopped on the seat, and that's what he did. He just plopped. He won't down. even take the Gatorade. He doesn't want to waste any energy. No high fives. No lifting water to his mouth. He is exhausted. A heroic performance by Michael Jordan. I mean, as long as he plays the game, he's he's gonna amaze us no matter what. For the Leaning on Scotty as they walked off the floor, I'm not sure he had full mobility. Looks like he's a, a, a boxer just hanging on along the road. Performance by the flu-ridden Michael Jordan. A performance that I think will go down as one of the greatest of his career because of the situation. It is all over. The Bulls have won the title. It is Bedlam here at the United Center. Max, from a physicality standpoint, he was actually an underdog from the position of getting beat up. Jordan Rule. Michael Jordan with a takeoff in the crush. The one time we played the Bulls, we get off the bus. Before the game, Jordan parks inside his Ferrari. We're getting off the bus, and he's smoking a cigar. Before and the game? Before the game. Yeah. <laughs> and he's like, who's going to check me? Oh, Michael shakes the finger, and he finally got his dunk on Mount Matumbo. No, rebound turned right. Off to Jordan. In his heart, Michael already knew that these would be his last games. And 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 he just got better and better. I mean, he was. Uh, I've never seen a guy that I thought was as good as anybody I'd ever seen. Five years later, he was ten times better. And five years later, he was ten times better. Game six in Utah. For the Bulls, a win would mean a championship. For Michael, it would mean the cementing of his legacy. Inside, they've already begun the chant of beat the Bulls. Jordan for three. Got it. What you do has to transcend the generations in order to retain your place as the GOAT. Here's Michael. 
He's got 21. Michael Jordan always took his game to another level in the playoffs. Jordan pulls up. Like we've never seen before. And connects. 25 for MJ. Six titles, six finals MVPs. That means it was all about you each series. You were the mismatch. He's still Michael Jordan. Whatever he has lost, through fatigue, through age, through whatever, has only brought him somewhat back to the field. He still leads the field. He became the most dangerous man alive. Those two three-peats that Jordan has, those are hard, those are hard to compare yep. anything yep. to. None of us ever saw what he was going to do, and we thought he was going to be great. Pippen into Jordan. Michael working on Russell. Brings them to within one. Michael Jordan with 45 points. Six NBA Finals MVPs without ever allowing a game seven. Here comes Chicago, 17 seconds. Michael Jordan is the greatest basketball player I've ever seen. Better than LeBron, better than Kobe, better than everybody. Jordan, open. Chicago with the lead. The Chicago Bulls. Sixth NBA championship, and it's their second three P. He was without a doubt the greatest basketball player of all time, and he still is. I used to think that I could not go on. And life was nothing but an awful song But now I know the meaning of true love I'm leaning on the everlasting arms If I can see it Then I can do if I just believe it, there's nothing to it. I believe I can fly. I believe I can touch the sky. I think about it every night and day. Spread my wings and fly away. I believe I can soar. I see me running through that open door. I can fly. I believe I can fly.